Hey what's up everyone, how are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 19 of our Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. Last mission we took on one of the boss battles. We killed Lord Ubjow in the Ubjow sector. Didn't get a massive amount of Blackstone, so we can't do too many upgrades today. We can get at least one in. So let's see who could probably do with it more. It's got pretty much a full spread. One item free up there. Good one free. No, this is full. Leonardo's just got one free. Ah, oh, but Leonardo's got pants hacks. So let's upgrade him. Let's get one more men slot. Get better racks on it. I'm gonna get this, I might not push it, but we're at least gonna get our um, augment slot. Let's just have a look. So, this one's 4 HP and 1 physical armor, it's 3 HP and 1 energy armor. I think we'll just stick with the one we've got. That's doing the job for now. Right, let's get rid of our axe. Get the bigger bad boy axe on. I think it's this one. Let's just check four to six. Three to five. Yeah, it's this one. Definitely not enough blackstone for any more upgrades. So let's have a look at what missions we've got. Well, we've got a second one in here now. So we're seeing this one. The gamma pistol. Oh, is that a big infestus megadendrite? Nice. Spotlight. Not sending out this round yet. Become a priority target of enemies in range and gain one physical armor, one energy armor. And some blackstone. That's interesting. It's this one we've seen before, but again we've got a second mission here. Ooh. Ooh, a cognition stick with two cog points. Power field generator. We need one of them for Minarius. Ooh, we might have to do this one. Let's to check to see if there's anything else. Wow, this one's cool as well. Level 3 Vanguard Alpha. Another Tech Priest. Ooh, tempting. Send that one. We've got a new one down here. Big guns never tire. Better Coratio. Level 2 Sicarian Infiltrator. So, that's, that's alright. I am really tempted with this one though. Get the better Cognition Stick. And the Powerful Generator for Minarius. Yeah, we're going to do this one. What have we got? Immortals, Lich Guards, Tractorians, and Death Marks. Still want to get some more, more unlocking of some deployment slots. That'd be really nice. Now we're going to stick with our tried and tested. In fact, no, we're going to take the Servitor out. We'll put in the rest of the gun. So we've got a slightly bigger cognition gauge now. So that's what we're going to be doing a machine cleansing ritual for. Locations. We're certainly not, we're not doing 12 locations. There <laughs> we go, Kepra agrees. Okay, let's have a look what we've got in this team. So we can already see we've got an optional encounter here. One of our diamonds. The second one here is still just a two. Yep. So we don't want to go straight in for that encounter because that gives you a reduction in your awakening. Obviously, we're on zero right now. So if we do do that, it'll be a backtrack. So because of that, I think we'll go to that one. 
come up here. I mean, if we do want to backtrack, it's not going to cost us anything to go back to this one. So it's first glyph in there for us. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards within. Ooh. A container of some sort seemingly has raw binary seeding within. Clearly it is of Xenos origin. Sparks of data leak through the age sealant used to contain the treasure within. We had CP taken away from us, but we didn't actually have any. So, I was going to say what cop out of that. Hey, some more female ports. Let's get some interfacing. Okay, some HP we didn't need. So, so far, we've got nothing useful to bring us into our first encounter here. Guys are buggers. These are watch guards. Oh, I hate this team. This weird wall. Enemies can seem to be able to shoot through it for some reason. Okay, so if I put guys on those two slots, they might block the path of the others, so we're just going to stick with that. Two of the guys going down this way, two guys going up this way, and we'll, we'll do like a pin to the top of there. Push it down a bit.
That's really annoying. Oh, with him being there, it can't stop this guy as well. his teeth there. Oh, I've got no more. No more cognition. Oh well, I'm glad I healed rather than attacked. I think you'll see shortly, once you make an attack on these guys, they attack you back. Back to this counter attack. Really annoying. I kind of like to heal him up. I don't think going to do it, I'm not going to take your chances. A couple of these guys are putting out some big damage. Still got another encounter or two to do, so we don't want to lose any tech priests yet. You can reach that one. But I think what we'll do is we'll shoot the terminal here, get a bit of damage done on that, and it looks like we can get a juice right here. Absorbed. That's pretty cool. 
could use his attack to take out that one, but machine spirit charged here, and it ignores armor. So it's gonna put a nice bit of damage on him. That's what I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Stab him. He's able to come back at the end of that turn. Reanimated. Don't want that. So, can we be cheeky tactical here? I think we can use our flame. Can we get all three of them? Oh, we can. Brilliant. Make sure it's definitely not clipping my guys. And hopefully. Try it, they will move, get the opportunities, yep. Both of them. Yeah, so he's gotta be pretty low on health now. Three. Cool, Norris is only on two now though. Um oh, servo skull. Brilliant. Maybe just save his bacon a bit here. This guy's only on two health. I can't risk him dying. So I'm just gonna use one of our canticles up now. And I'd like to save him to the last encounter, but we really need that. So he goes on full health now. Let's move him right into melee combat with this one here. Try and get another opportunity to attack. do the whole get in for some close range combat but he's gonna pop sticks and fly away anyway so it's just last a bit before he does a runner. Three rounds on that guy, so I think we'll just leave him there for a bit. Use his machine spirit charge a little bit more productively there. He's got physical shields, so that's not going to do much. One. One's better than nothing, I guess. I'm going to get an opportunity attack for him as well. and line of sight, just about got enough cognition. Uh, I don't want to use it all up though, so I think oh, out of range by one. Yeah, let's push him up, make it work well. That should kill him. So I think it's good as one left. Get back. 
hopefully we can move back in. Yep. Keeping this guy locked in so Malik on back, you see. We'll end it there. Blasphemy. When the sigil is inscribed on the floor of his chamber, several Necron hieroglyphics appear on the walls, glowing a baleful red as if in angry response. Obliterate. Try to destroy the Necron symbols so only the Omnisire's voice can is heard in this place. Translate. Try to learn the meaning of the strange Necron symbols. Supplicate. Pray for the Omnisire to bless this place and rob the Necron symbols of a heretical power. I think I'm going to go for Translate. So we learn something here. Obliterates is going to be a lot of noise. Oh dear. Castus Metallican returns preliminary results from pit crabs of the symbols. They speak of the extermination of life and carnal heaps of corpses, and suns burning out to be replaced with the cold dead of the void. The ship's cogitators auto quarantine before they become infected by such blasphemous notions. And we've lost two cognition. Kinda sucks. But how are we doing? We're only on one and a bit on the awakening level. We've only got two more rooms to go into, so we definitely don't need to do the optional encounter today. Necron scarabs swarm from hidden apertures and obliterate the sigil as soon as it is inscribed. These annoying constructs must be dealt with before the sigil can be completed. Cauterize. Obliterate the hateful insect like constructs with flame. Cut off. Find the apertures from which the scarabs are issuing and block them. Or crush. Stamp the scarabs into oblivion with your iron shod feet in the name of the Omnisire. Well, I think we know what we're going to go for today, you guys. We've not used flame in a while. Lashings of righteous fire sweep the Necron scarabs away. They must be constructed from some noxious substance, however, as from the inferno issues a dangerous corrosive fog. The cohorts rebreather must suffer damage before they can clear the area. Another day where we're not making the best choices here. It's alright. I'll recover. Kick some butt. By three rounds. Okay, so I think this is another one where it looks like it's gonna be simple and clear cut, but there's definitely a platform down there. You see two glowy doors. There's a platform down here, two glowy doors. So we know we're gonna have some more. More enemies come to play soon. Alright, let's get one of the eleven. Oh god, we've got one of eight here. Should be well tucked in there. Do is we'll put the servitor in, if anything, just for some fodder to um, block off any initial attacks. Or it's going to jump straight in behind anyway. Definitely didn't work the plan. Servitor's the first one in there, okay. Shoutcast. You definitely need to heal. Heal a lot. Just this one, and that one there is it. Okay. I think we'll 
we're getting in here. Try and get some damage on this Basura before it flies away again. for extra damage on that. I'm going to save it. I might shoot this guy with it, actually. So let's get our juicer on. Pop the energy enhancer on. It's going to give us a little bit more damage to this energy weapon here. This guy also needs to heal a bit. Tuck him in just where keep him safe for a little bit. Okay, Leonardo, this is up. Let's get into the scan terminal. I kind of want to get those scarabs gone. Healing anything else up, so let's see if we can get them gone with this one shot. Yeah, nice. Uh, now, I would move over to this guy to give him an axe chop, but he's only going to fly away. So, I think I'm going to go towards this one. Damn, he's got some HP on him. Let's just do it. Start chipping away. One more damage. Um, yeah, it's still just a squad mission, so. I'm waiting for Minarius' turn to get his squad mission up and get both of them to the sky. platforms brought some cognition with it. That's handy. We've got, my bar has got eight slots on it now. Okay, let's just think. Do we need the Vanguard guy? Probably not, but I think we'll get him in anyway. Just because we can. Worth the top down the way of it. I kill him. Wow. It'll serve to do kill the Torian. Brilliant. Okay. 
Okay, so I've got a machine spirit charge on this. We've got two dead ones there. I don't want to waste the machine spirit on them. This guy's probably going to have more shielding and the heavy damage gun. Got my reducer again, put it. So, see if that helps at all. So he's got physical shields, so I don't want to attack that one. Especially as it's like a physical shield of three. It's quite a lot. I think this guy's only doing four to six. Yeah, four to six damage, so I've only got a max of three damage. So we've got, we've got two priests with one enemy down there, so let's push him up here as well. I've got to get rid of these two as well, really. And I don't want to waste that machine spirit, but if we don't get this soon, we're going to be out of here. It's this one. So. physical shield, isn't it? Oh, that's okay. Axe is machine spirit charge, so that's going to strip the armor off of them. It's not going to do much damage. There we go. Strip two physical armor off, so that's still a result. Stabby stick to the win. Can't get that cognition. Can't see that body. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. Okay, no more cognition there. physical shield and she's a canticle on well, the last encounter. Kill all enemies. Nice. No more surviving one round.
so I'm gonna have to shoot him. I don't know if that doesn't do me to get in front. Good. We still had enough to finish him, could have got an axe shot on him if we needed to. Okay, so now we need to get these guys up this way. Although they're both Praetorians, they're probably just gonna jump towards us anyway. So I did damage, I did damage. So let's get rid of that one. I just want to start grouping my guys up a little bit now. Get him to get a shot in there before he dies. He's in range. I've got enough cognition. Let's do it. Round now. Try and get our guys all healed up so we don't lose too much blackstone at the end. Still got this one down here, but we're gonna have to kill soon. We'll obliterate as soon as we animate. this. I don't know if I want to, because it's going to use all our cognition up. Mm. No, let's play it safe. Let's save our cognition. Himnaris. Give me a little poke first. Damage. Cool, that's a whopper. There's only on one. Brilliant. Only one more to go. He's there at the moment, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to be there for long. get attacked there, I just wanted him out of the way a bit. So he's got to get a clear line of sight in there. Let's see what the stats are, how much HP he's got left. Five, cool. Only four on the energy shield. So let's heal you up a bit. And I think I've got um Horatio here. Yeah, so I can heal that guy in a couple. I want to get him fully healed, but it's a little bit more blackstone we're going to save. Um, let's go right up next to him. Machine spirit axe on there. There we go, blasted them into pieces. Awesome. Mission complete. The final sigil is put in place. Immediately, the pre-ritual canticles stream through the new sphere in preparation for the full incantation. The Tomb of Acropsis is held in a sacred web of information that, for the moment, holds off the corruption of the Necrons.
Lost a hundred blackstone again. Not too bad though, I guess. Oh yeah, Coratio, the powerful generator. I'll have to make sure I remember that. Get it on Minaris. Up to 43 now. So we're getting there. We're nearly halfway. So that wasn't a bad one, guys. That wasn't a bad one. Bit of a short one today. 30, 40 minutes. Which is nice. It's nice not to have the super long dragged out ones. I'm quite happy with that. We've got a little bit of blackstone, not loads, but that should be enough for maybe two upgrades on our guys for the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you did. Stay tuned for the next one, and in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, and take care.